Because basically what he's saying question, is he is Mr. going President. to destroy the oil industry. That prediction from former President Trump back in 2020 hasn't exactly played out. In fact, right now, the U.S. is producing more oil than any other nation has ever before in human history. The Energy Information Administration released new data to back this up. According to the EIA, the U.S. produced a record-breaking 12.9 million barrels of oil every day in 2023. That beat out the previous high mark of 12.3 million barrels, which was set by the U.S. in 2019 under the Trump administration. Those figures don't exactly line up with what some on the right have said about the oil industry under President Biden. I rise today to address President Biden's attack on American energy independence. I mean, look at this war on fossil fuels. Fossil fuels produce 80 percent of the electricity in our economy. They produce it far more cheaply than wind and solar. He has made it clear that he cares more about appeasing the radical climate change activists than protecting the millions of oil and gas workers and producers in America. But the data also doesn't really align with Biden's plan to transition away from oil either. Unlike previous administrations, I don't think the federal government should give handouts to big oil. And Biden has kept that promise, even going so far as to place moratoriums on new oil and gas leases on federal lands and waters. Prior to that, Nearly a quarter of the nation's domestic supply came from leases on federally owned areas. But the administration has pushed ahead with multiple pieces of legislation that aim to further reduce what is available for oil companies. On top of that, the White House has imposed new drilling fees and emissions fines on the industry to further influence a transition away from this energy source. Yet, despite all of this, American oil still accounted for almost a fifth of the planet's total supply last year, making it the worldwide leader. Not only that, the U.S. is actually expected to beat out its 2023 oil record again during the coming years. So how is that possible? Well, Russia's invasion of Ukraine incentivized companies to pull every last drop of oil from their existing wells. Many European nations relied heavily on Russia for their oil needs. When that suddenly stopped being a possibility due to international sanctions against Moscow over their aggression in Ukraine, it posed a major problem for Europe's energy needs. So many countries within the continent have since been using American oil as a replacement, making the U.S. now the top supplier of crude oil to Europe. Advancements in drilling technology helped U.S. companies procure all that extra oil. That's because horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing innovations have increased the productivity of oil wells. This has allowed energy companies to access more oil from existing sites that was previously unattainable without significantly more drilling. As Biden's green energy push continues, oil is still poised to be a continued part of that transition. It's something the president has even acknowledged himself. We're still going to need oil and gas for a while. With those anticipated U.S. oil production increases on the horizon, those oil pipelines probably won't stop flowing anytime soon.